Hey guys, it's Max back again with Game Face on Dark Souls 2 Part 5. Alright, let's get ready for this battle. First things first, let's go to the blacksmith. And I'm gonna pump up one of these weapons. Reinforce. Let's go with the fire longsword. Yep, I'd love to. Oh, that's the only Titanite shirt I have? Huh, I thought I had a lot more than that. Oh! I have another idea. I'm just having ideas, guys, before we go to battle. But since that was all I had for that, let's do some level ups, too. Vigor. Vigor. Endurance, I assume that is. Vitality. That's fine. That'll do. Remember this house? It was locked. I told you. Well, we just used the host key we got from whatever his name was. Donkey Bonger. Go in here. I believe there's an item in this room. Yep. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Excellent. You remember we got one of those before. We got another one. Who knows when it will come in useful? I bet somebody does. Do you know? Do you? Mm, I bet you do. Excellent. Anyway. Enough blathering on. There are a few very useful things in this house. So let's get them. A chest. We love those. Chests are good. Is he gonna attack me? We got three Titanite shards. That's awesome. That means I can upgrade my weapons a bunch. There's a cool little fella down here. I'd like to introduce you to him. His name is Skelly McBelly. I'm gonna bring him up. Because I wanted to see my basement. I've been working on it. Got it all refurbished for him. He doesn't seem to like it too much. I'm a little little disappointed. So I think I'll kill him. I gotta. I think it's just probably the best thing to do. So as you can see, the fire sword is definitely doing some nice damage. We like that. We're happy. And he's dead. That's what you get for not liking my basement. In his defense, it's kind of ratty. But he didn't have to come out and say it like that. I mean, come on. He's a guest in my home. And, uh... Estus Flask Shard. That is what we came down here for. There's also whatever's in here. I don't remember. What is it? Soul Vessel. Don't know what that does. But I'm sure it's important. And with that, I'll see you in a second. Upgrade my sword again. Thank you. <laughs> hey, baby. How about, how about we go fight a boss? Oh, wait. I don't want to talk to you. Yes, I do want to talk to her. What am I doing, guys? I don't know. This game's making me crazy. It's making me crazy. But guess what? We got three Estus Flasks. That's good. That's a good thing. It means we can use it three times. Now to fight the first boss. On our way. And here we are. As you may recall, before I fought the lightning sword fella, I got my humanity back. This means I can summon phantoms to help me get through this boss battle. May not be the most hardcore way to go about my life, but guess what? This game's fucking hard. I'm human. I'm gonna ask for some help from some friendly people. I just need to find a summon that will work. There's one over there. No, that's just a soul. Cool, we got a friend. Let's go into battle. Shall we? Alright, let's go. Down we go. Hey fella, how you doing? My name's Max. On a channel called Game Face, and so are you. Welcome here, Lamau or Scary. It's gonna be a fun time, I betcha. We're gonna. We got a nice sword there. Very nice. Oh, look! A friend! Let's kill him. And there's some more summons down here. So, uh. We'll touch him for fun. Summon failed, sign disappeared. No worries, we won't get discouraged. But I'll touch him all. We could always use the help. Cannot summon. Whatever. Let's go in. This is the first boss we're fighting. It's exciting. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? It's fucking scary looking. I'll give you that much. Look at that thing. Now, it kind of reminds me of, like, 
Fuck, it's scary. Some, a couple of things. It's very silent, hilly. It also kind of reminds me of the Redeads from Zelda. But also something about it kind of reminds me of the the angels from Evangelion. I don't know. I think if you combine all those things together, that's what we got here. Kind of freaky. But he's he wasn't too bad. I beat him first try last time, and I got two phantoms with me this time. So hopefully we'll do all right. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. I bet I'll die. You know how it is. You freaking play on camera and like you die immediately. There is a strategy to this guy though. You just you just hit him in the legs. Don't get hit by those stomps like I kind of just did. And stay away from his front so you don't get hit by those sweeps. So just keep attacking his legs. Don't let that happen because you'll die. Let's heal. Heal up. Let these guys do what they're doing. They're, they're, they're experts. I definitely feel like I'm being stupid here. Stop it. Hit him. Retreat. Hit him. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. It's being a bit of a dick. It's not giving me as many openings as I'd like. Maybe I should lock up. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep attacking. He's going down pretty quick, actually. We're strong. We're a strong bunch of guys. You ain't got nothing on us, buddy. You're going down like nothing. Think you got what it takes? Yeah, he's not too hard of a boss, really. And he's actually being very stupid. He keeps sweeping in front. I guess it's probably because these guys are at his front, so I guess they're leaving me opportunities to get him from behind. Oh, I didn't even notice. He picked his weapon up. Don't get killed. I'm being reckless. Wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing. Oh, we won! Awesome! Thanks, guys! Thanks, Lamau Scary and XZ Rob X. You guys are awesome. Much appreciated. Yay! We be the boss in Dark Souls. We're so fucking great. Actually, didn't go too bad, though. I'm pretty proud of us. Back to the top. So, I did say I was going to be two bosses in this series, so now it's time to take on the second guy. It's not that guy. He was just some enemy. I'm just here because I wanted to show you. Because we beat the first boss, we can't go in here. Opens up a new location. I have not set foot in there yet. I'm not going to start now. We're going to go back and we're going to deal with the second boss that we're going to talk about in this video. So, let's go up the ladder. And hustle up real fast. Because that's how we do. And... We're gonna warp back to the magical land of Majula. Let's do some leveling up. Leveling up is always good, because it makes you stronger. Being stronger is good. Right, lady? Can you can you open my window? Thank you. 12, 13, 14. Maybe a little endurance as well. Dexterity, perhaps? That sounds about right. I'm happy with that. I will be trying to make a dexterity build. I don't really know much about that, though. I'm not sure if I should still put a lot of strength to. Is it, like, best to get them maybe both to 20 and then start just focusing on dexterity? What am I doing? What am I doing? Fuck. Just sit at this a couple thousand times. That'll help. Will this game beat no time. So down here is a new area. We're gonna go and check it out. Every area is very... Interesting so far. I, I like them quite a bit, and I haven't encountered too much slowdown in the game, which is really nice. That was a problem in the last game. This contraption does not move, so we'll ignore it. Yeah, the last game had a lot of slowdown. Kind of hurt the experience a little bit. You could say that it just made the game harder, but you'd be silly to say that. Because that's not the right reason to be frustrated with the game. It just gives you a headache. And this next area... It's a little tricky, but it's quick. I don't know if I'd recommend starting with it. You Like, when you start the game, you could go this way and you could go the way I picked. I prefer the other way because it's a lot of smaller enemies. Crimson Parma, I think my shield's better than that one. But yeah, this way's like, it's short, but there's a lot of hard enemies. The shield, or the swords that I got in the other path will definitely help make this easier. So I think it's better to go that way first and then deal with this. But there are a few things definitely worth noting this way. 
that you could get first that would help you. And I'll show you what they are when we get there. Uh, so blah, 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 whatever, some items. Congratulations, we got some items. That's wonderful. Here we go. Let's hop up the stairs. Lovely. Do another one for good measure. Oh, I didn't. Sorry. This is... However you say that, Heides or Heeds or something's Tower of Flame. I don't see any... F oh, it is a Tower of Flame. I was gonna say that it wasn't, but I guess I was wrong, wasn't I? I am gonna take this guy on first. Last time I tried to just get the bonfire, but he followed me. I had to take him out anyway. It was a mess. I'll tell you what. These guys aren't too bad. They're a little tough, but it's definitely a lot easier with these elemental swords, I find. When you try to go here first, they take a lot of doing to kill them. Basically, you stay at their backside. Hit them when they're not attacking. la di da di da Pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna have to take a man again because... Oh, I didn't rest. But I guess that's fine. I really didn't lose any health. Important battle up here. This guy is... He will only spawn the once, and once you beat him, he's dead. But he's pretty tough. We're just gonna try to stay at his back. Obviously, only attack when he's not attacking. Attack. Let's gonna try again. Attack. And attack, and attack, and attack, and attack. And he's, that actually went really well. Sweet. So he drops Sublime Bone Dust. That may not sound like anything, but I'm gonna show you what it's for. It's actually very useful. So, at this particular bonfire, when you rest at it, you have the option to burn. You can burn your human effigies. I do not recommend it because they are important. I would use them for restoring humanity. But with the Sublime Bone Dust, we can burn it. And it will increase the strength of our Astus Flasks. So that means every time you use one now, they will heal more health. And here we go, guys. Back at, you know, the Tower of Flame. How do you pronounce that? Is it Hades or Hades? Hades? I don't know, I've never been good at pronouncing those kind of like medieval old sounding names of things. I was never a big fan of stuff like Lord of the Rings or I haven't watched any, uh, what do you call it there, that really popular fucking show, um, King, Game of, King of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Man, I'm sounding like an idiot right now to people who like that kind of stuff, but I don't know. I tried to get into Lord of the Rings and it's... I just don't seem to like it. It's just not my cup of tea. I might like Game of Thrones, but I never never really gave it a fair shake. Maybe someday. I'm all about the animated stuff. I like animation. It's kind of been my passion since I was little. Animation and games, so... Anyway, yeah, I took him out. And something interesting about this place is that when you take these guys out, these come up. And when you pull them, something happens. And you might be thinking, well, who gives a shit? But you shouldn't, because if you see over there, some magical stuff just came out of the ocean, and that's where the boss battle is. So if we didn't do that, the ring would be a lot smaller. So what would happen is if you came through here and just ran past everybody, just went straight to the boss, the battle would be a lot tougher because you'd have a lot less area to work with. Might still be pretty doable, but whatever. This is kind of a tough room. We got three guys. And of course, they're all coming at me. Great. The objective would be to try to, you know, get them out one at a time. Because fighting three of these guys is a bitch. Not a good idea in the slightest. Hey, I didn't get this. What is it? Fucking get it, you dumbass. Lloyd Talon. That has to do with, like, miracles, I think. I don't use miracles as much. He's got a big sword. These guys are kind of tough. Because if he hits me, it's going to hurt a lot. So I'll try to be a little cautious. You want to keep your stamina up, obviously. State his back. And he's wide open, usually after his third swing. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And these are another kind of enemies where when you kill one of their buddies, they just they just seem to get pretty upset about it. They're on their way. I don't want to fight them both at once. But they do. So I'm just going to try to run. and Maybe one of them will fall off the edge or something. We'll have a good laugh if that happens. Be like, did you see that stupid guy he fell off the edge? Oh, good. One went back. Cool. So now we can have our one-on-one. -on -one. 
That's what we always want in this game, because one by one, we're making it fun. Oh, I'm being reckless. Don't let your stamina go down to zero with these guys. They'll wreck you. Like I'm doing right now, but I killed them, so. You know, I'm being a little reckless, but it makes things go fast. And if I'm an idiot and die a bunch of times, I can just cut it out. Not completely, but, you know, I can just cut back to where I was. That way you guys don't have to watch me fail 15 times in a row. I'm going to leave him for now, because this is the way we want to go. This is what I was talking about earlier. When you start the game, it can be a good idea to go this way first, because the, the item that we're going to get here is really freaking useful. But uh, I decided just to wait. I don't know. It's just the decision I made. I'm going to take this guy out. If I can. If and I can. One, two, three. We'll go for three hits. No problem. You guys ain't nothing I can't handle. As you can see, that fire sword I picked up makes the game a lot easier to handle early on. Plus, I got a couple level ups. I'm being an idiot right now, so uh, let's cut that out for a second. Two, three, four, dead. I'm gonna heal up. And with that, this is actually going really well. Pretty happy about that. Down here, there's a little item. Not the one we're here for. I do not want to try jumping. Fucking idiots. Trying to tell me to jump. There's so many of those around here where it's like, try jumping or something and it's just death. And it gets upvoted a lot too, which I don't quite understand. I guess people are assholes. It happens, it's the internet. Well, it's not the internet, but man, I'm just blabbering on about nothing. Anyway, this is the guy we're here for. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm gonna ignore it for now. It's different than the normal summon signs, it's smaller. Isn't it, buddy? One, two, three. Your turn. Turn-based battle here. He's gonna get his three in. I'm gonna get my three in. And I'm gonna throw an extra one, because it will kill him. I may have broke the rules of turn-based combat, but look at that, we got him dead. This is what we're here for. I'm gonna pull this lever. I'm gonna pull it real good. And it's gonna draw this drawbridge down. I'm gonna stop talking like that, because, uh, you know, kind of stupid. And here we are. Cathedral of Blue. This is another area. Old radium, lice gem. Okay, cool, I don't know what that is. But. Ring of Binding and a Human Effigy times five. Holy shit, I did not realize that. Very useful. So yeah, this is a good way to go early in the game. Now we're gonna equip that ring. It's a very useful ring. Ring of Binding. Limits HP reduction when hollow. So what happens here? Remember when I was dying a whole shitload and my health went down to like half? With this ring on, I don't think it will go past 75%. So that's great. And uh, I don't know what's in there, but I have a feeling it's a pretty high level area. We're gonna avoid it. Things are going pretty good. We're gonna run over here, back to the Tower of Flame, and this guy will be our next opponent. Now he may tell you that hitting me three times is fun. I disagree. I prefer hitting him. He's gonna get that last hit in. I'm gonna annihilate him a little bit. All the hits in the world. One more, come on. I got greedy. I got greedy. Greed. Gotta watch out for it. I could've went into that boss battle with a lot more health to spare if I didn't do that. But I'm an idiot. You know, it happens sometimes in Dark Souls. You get greedy. You're like, I can get that extra hit in. I didn't. You learn from your mistakes, you move on. So, we hit this because we beat the three guys in this room, and we got some more arena space when we go to the boss battle. One nice thing, last time I was here, I was not human. So we can summon some help again for this boss battle. And it'll be easy as pie, because we'll have some help. It's actually not a bad boss battle anyway. I did end up beating it first or second try by myself. We're going to get this. You know, chests, chests are good. What we got? Green Blossom. Wonderful. Watch out, coming back. We'll take him out. He's in the way. I don't really feel like not dealing with him might be a bad idea. He did a two strike there. We'll get three in. And uh, 
Please don't hit me. He's going for another. Swing it. He's like a baseball player. He's got a big old bat and he's dead. That's my favorite part. He dropped something. Blue eyed orb. Okay, let's try to get some summons. Touch summon sign. I think that's just like a NPC. I don't think it's a real person. That guy is definitely a person. Yeah, he summoned right away. It's just some. It's just in the game. Masterless Glencore. If I was smart, I'd go back and like recover my health and do all that cool stuff. But whatever, man. I can take him on like this with just the one flask. I believe in myself. Probably gonna be a big mistake. Where is the other summon signs? Cool. We got. We got. Danny was taken. Danny was taken. I get it. Okay, Danny. Let's do this. You ready for a battle? So this is the second boss. I'm not sure if he's considered a mini boss or what, because I like he doesn't have the cutscene like the the last giant we fought. But uh, I'm gonna attack him. He's not too bad. You know, like most enemies, you just want to stay behind him. Not let your stamina go down so he did not... Whoa, he takes a lot of your stamina. Roll, you fool. Okay, let my stamina go. That ring that puts your stamina back up is so useful. So very. Whoa, kill him, kill him. He's going down kind of slow. But uh, I haven't gotten annihilated yet. Definitely the three people is hugely helping. Ouch, I just kind of let that happen. This guy's not too bad. He kind of reminds me of, like, Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist, except he's all red and he's got a big shield. My long sword's at risk. Let's switch to the electric one. When your sword's at risk, you don't want to keep fighting with it because it will die. That went extremely well. Well done, everybody involved. I don't know how to do those silly little things, guys. I want to make silly, silly things. How do I do it? Oh. Point. Yeah, I did it. You guys helped me. That's what I said. So, yeah. I may have just made that look extremely easy because I had help. Help helps. If you're ever in a bind, you gotta do that. In the original Dark Souls, I actually... I never used help until I got to Ornstein and Smao just because it, I wanted to kind of experience the bosses on my own first. All by myself because it's... I don't know. It's funner that way. But when I get to Ornstein and Smell, I could not beat it, so I had to summon help. It was the one boss that I decided it had to be done. Are you from these parts? Absolutely not. I'm from Ho My Halifax, Nova, Nova Scotia. Um, nice to meet you. You I, like miracles. She needs a miracle. Please let me be your girl. Give me a chance no to see how miracles. you were married for me. Rest of the bottom bar. And yeah. As you can see, we got a lot of souls to play with there from that boss. And I can go further to the next section. I have delved a little further in here, not much. This is about how far I've made it in the game so far. And uh, yeah, it was definitely fun going through it again, a little easier the second time. And uh, I really enjoyed doing this little first impressions video of Dark Souls for you guys. Definitely enjoying the game. Looking forward to seeing what's next. And I hope uh, if anybody's interested that they go and get this one because it's just a lot of fun. If you like gameplay focused games that are challenging and have like a high level of reward for when you finally get past a difficult part it's a great game there's not a lot of games that challenge you as much as this one does anymore so i've been really enjoying it so that'll be it for game face on dark souls 2 for the time being like i said i may go back to it in the future i'm gonna kind of leave that up to you guys uh so leave like a like or dislike below and a comment letting me know anything you thought about the video i'd love to do more but there's just so much that i also want to do at the same time so i'd really like to hear your feedback and see if you do want me to go further into this game otherwise we'll definitely move on to something else appreciate any comments feedback constructive criticism all that jazz and once again do hope you enjoy watching have a great day later